so what's the difference between these two waters? In this video, we're gonna be talking about some things you can do so you can get paid to stunt ride. All right, so over the past 10 years of my stunt riding career, I never knew any of this stuff. It's mind blowing and that's why you will not hear me shut up about this subject. Okay, so it's called personal branding. Now what the hell is personal, personal branding? So you see these two waters? What exactly is the difference between these two waters? Okay, we got what? A uh, great value water and essential overachieving H2O. Cool, same contents, okay? There's the same stuff inside of it. So why do people pay more for the essential overacting H2O over the great value water when the contents are exactly the same? That's what we're gonna be talking about when it comes to setting yourself up, creating a personal brand around yourself as a, as a stunt writer. So I want you to think of personal branding as basically your digital reputation, okay? So your digital reputation would be, how do people look at you? How do they feel when they see you online? Um, are you presented as professional? Or are you presented as like a hooligan? Are you presented as um, someone that just does this for fun? There's so many different ways that a lot of us represent ourselves as stunt writers online. Okay, so let's put this aside real quick. So I wanna take a look at someone that I've personally grown with as a stunt writer. So this writer is Smash Stunts. She has grown her following to a massive audience. And it's just amazing to see what she has done as a personal brand. Okay, so I want you to look at her Instagram. Go look on her Instagram and I want you to look at her post. All her posts are very consistent. You know exactly what you're looking at when you go to her page. When you go to her Instagram, you see all stunt writing things. You don't see pictures of her dog. You don't see pictures of her boyfriend. You don't see pictures of what she's eating that day. You see stunt writing photos and videos. This is how you build a personal brand. I also want you to notice her color scheme. What are her colors? She sticks to black and blue. Those are her colors. She typically wears black. She Her bike's blue. She, she might have um, black accents. That is how you make a consistent theme to your, your Instagram page so that it looks very professional and clean. Another thing I want you to notice is that she has very, very quality images and quality videos. This is super important. You might just throw something up thinking, I just need footage to post today or this is all I got, but this is important to building a consistent personal brand, okay? Think back to the waters, okay? Are you great value water or are you essential? Or are you essential overacting H2? overachieving H2O. I don't even know what this is. Okay. Hey, what's up guys? I hope you're enjoying the episode. Real quick plug. I want to invite you guys to our online wheelie coaching course. This is exclusively made for Harley riders. We created a three-stage progression method that is guaranteed to teach you how to wheelie. This is for day one learning riders. It's broken down from day one all the way to balance point. With this course, you get our exclusive members only get vertical app that makes it easier to access while you're at the lot practicing. You also get to join our Facebook community where we have a group experts in there all ready to help and other Harley Stunt Riders learning from each other. You'll also get invited with online group coaching with Bruce and I where you can ask us direct questions about your progress and any struggles you're having. You can sign up at getverticalcoaching.com. Link will be in the description. Anyways, back to the show. But you can only get paid if you build a personal brand. I wanna bring up my next um, example, and that's CJ Barham. So let's take a look at his Instagram. I just want you guys to look through his page. What quality images and videos does he have? Is it great value? Or is it essential over achieving H2O? What personal brand is he building for himself, okay? What colors? is a theme throughout his Instagram page. Go back to the water example. I, bet, I could bet you if we went to this water's um, website, their colors would be black, white, and red. 
how do you feel when you go to his page? Um, I feel a sense of like badassery, feel some a sense of uh, excitement, power, um, influence, rock star lifestyle. That's the kind of feel feel and vibes he gives. Now, what's Ashley's digital reputation when you go to her her page? You get this this woman empowerment feel. You get this. I can be sexy and dominate in a, a male dominated space. So those those are two different vibes. Just like this water, you get a vibe. What kind of vibes do you get when you're drinking it? Who do you think's drinking these things? Who's paying, I don't even know, $5 for this shit? Well, why do you think they're paying that for this water? They're paying for it so they can feel better about themselves. <laughs> it's a feel, it's a vibe, right? So that's the difference between the, the personal branding and how you feel when you go to these people's um, different stunt writers' Instagrams, okay? So some common things that, and mistakes that people do, okay? So they mix their personal Instagram with their writing, stunt writing Instagram. So that's mistake number one, mixing your personal Instagram with your stunt writing Instagram. I, I did this, I did all of this, so don't, don't think that I'm pointing anyone out. This is a, this is common. I'm talking 90, 95% of people do it. This is why Ashley has a million, over a million followers. She knows what she's doing. She's laser focused, okay? And so is CJ, he's on his way. He's next, okay? I, I, I know this and I could see it and it doesn't matter about skill. It's all about what you're doing on social media and your social media presence and your personal branding, okay? This page should be laser focused on your stunt writing, personal brand, okay? So the next common mistake is consistency. There's no possible way you're gonna build a following without being consistent. If you're not showing up every single day, but minimum two to three times a week, your following is not gonna grow. Sponsorships are gonna see you as um, not reliable and they want you to show up every single day for them. Third common mistake, is not posting quality images and that's kind of self-explanatory so what i think you guys can do today to start building this personal brand it doesn't matter your skills you need to start today because it it's a long game like you need to start today so that you can get practice at this and you can build your following and your audience and they know what to expect because what if this guy this water changed their logo tomorrow how are you gonna know how is I'm their number one fan and now I, I something changes, it throws me off and I don't want to buy from them, them anymore. So you, you need to keep a consistent um, theme to, to your personal brand or your reputation. Um, so the first thing I, I will say is pick up yourself an iPhone Pro. Upgrade your damn phone. This is a huge game changer because you always have your phone in your pocket. Um, it's easy for other people to use. Um, this is high quality 4K uh, footage. Uh, my suggestion is setting your your camera to cinematic and doing zooming in 3x. Okay, this is the sickest quality for stunt writing. Just straight out of your phone. Okay, so cinematic 3x. That'll zoom in and it just looks like like fire quality. Okay, the next suggestion that I would make is to make a deal with someone that you ride with to film each other. Just be like, hey man, like we we gotta do this thing. I'm willing to trade. If you are willing to trade, I'll film you, you film me. This is a long game and we gotta start thinking about the future. And if we wanna get paid to do this and do this more, then we have to film. That is the reality of it. Don't let people hate on you for it. There's a lot of shade that goes on with a lot if you're filming too much but those are the writers that are not getting paid for it, okay? So just to recap, be consistent. Post as much and as often as possible. High quality images and videos. Don't post pictures of your dog. This is a, not a personal page. This is a professional stunt writing Instagram or YouTube page, okay? This is how you will grow your following and your audience and ultimately lead you to paid sponsorship deals. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is how you get paid, is content, 
set yourself up for success and for the future. You will not regret it. And your following will grow very, very, very quickly. Okay. Hope these tips helped you out. Make sure you follow Get Vertical on Instagram and uh, YouTube. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.